Hey, what's up guys? How's it going? We're going to talk about five really smart habits you want to have if you're wanting to make 10,000 gems a week like me. So to begin, right, if you're wanting to do that kind of thing, first things first is obviously do your Colosseum every single day because you're going to get a stupid amount of gems. If you're a static Colosseum of all places. Obviously, if you don't already, you need to be investing in the Trove and get your 30-day deposit. Because that's obviously where you're going to get a lot of gems. Now, another place you can actually get quite a bit of gems at is actually in Familiars. So you want to get Stroke of Fortune and Lucky Stars. You get this every two days or so, which does add up, you know, a thousand to two thousand gems a pop. Now, of course, you know, you can always invest in actually saving speeds. Okay, so what you do is basically just save up your speeds you can do this any number of ways, but one way that's really common is that people will actually just go out. I like to do Death Archer, and I'll just do Max Elite and use all my stamina and get a bunch of 15-minute speeds. And I'll just rinse repeat this day in, day out, every day. And as you can tell, I've already increased the research for SDA, so I'm actually getting more speeds than most people normally would. If you're just starting out, then you're just going to have to kind of work your way through it. But basically... By having a better VIP level, you're going to have access to better things. So naturally, you don't already have your VIP level up. This is a big, big help. Now, I will point out that, okay, assuming that you've already got yourself at this point where, okay, I've done that, what else can I do? Well, you know, as far as Coliseum and, you know, basically getting your familiar bonuses and stuff like that, and getting everything in Trove, really about all you can do, and this is really kind of not a official way by any means is that you can actually go around and gathering off of normal players you know normally people will go out and they'll actually send out gatherers themselves and go gather but more often than not you're going to find groups of people and kingdoms god knows how often you'll find them because it's not all that uncommon but if you go around and raid a bunch of castles and take the resources you'd be surprised what people will do for gems um it's it's kind of funny you just go ask even guild mates within your own guild and say hey i got a couple mil stone or a couple hundred mil you know and obviously you know when it's like 10 to 15 mil nobody's really like they're not gonna probably send you know say a 24 hour speed for a bunch of stuff but let's say you you start talking about billions of resources well that's when you can suddenly start you know you can you can kind of do trades like that back and forth and it's it's an easy way to rack up stuff that you would have normally else spent on it. But getting back into the speeds part, what you do is basically save them and then do hell events. Uh, because obviously you're going to get 2,600 gems per hell event. You know, and then you can even get some from challenge events. So there's obviously that. And then, you know, if you were to go through your login rewards, you know, you'll always get stuff in within here. But again, it's just mostly all the finite stuff. I'd say, if anything, like most of the gems that can be made is just from really saving, if anything. And that's saving your holy stars, saving your artifacts, and saving your tokens. And the big reason I say that you need to save is because if you save, wait for an event like, you know, even now, like we've got Tycoon going on. You'll eventually have rotations for different types of events like Celestial Shop, for example. So, like, right now, the biggest thing I'm grabbing out of here is actually the speed-up training pieces. Now, you could just do normal speeds. There's really no harm in that. In fact, you could even be doing luck tokens or early stars if you wanted to. I just happen to want the speeds. But the, the main being here is, is that if you're trying to get tons and tons of gems, I really highly recommend everything that I've suggested. Because that's basically how I'm popping seven days. Now, you'll notice I've got four of them, and a large part of where, up to the five methods I've told you, another way you can actually acquire them, and it's a little less known, but you, you can still do it, is let's say you're able to trap or you're able to take leaders and stuff. I mean, you can go grab someone's leader, and you can turn around and basically play hopscotch with it, and you can either get you know resources like gold, for example, for ransoms, you can get it that way, and then you can turn around and sell the gold off to whoever you you know whoever wants it. Or alternatively, and, and by sell off, I mean like you can trade gem, you know, basically items 
from the gym store through here. I mean, that's basically all you'd need to do. And technically, there's even, you know, funny enough, you can even go into, a, say, like you're in a guild, for example, right? I, I could go into here at any time, hit gift, and go into grand gifts. And I could just as easily gift players this way as well. Like, it's it's not terribly uncommon. Like, you, you, you'd be surprised what people will do these days. I only bring this up, though, because it is one way that you could go about it if you're not spending yourself and you don't want to. Um, but beyond just going around doing events and doing those, I mean, you're really limited in terms of what you can do. But I would say the next place to check is actually go to the News tab. Uh, because from time to time, IGG will do events. You, you'll be able to participate in here for everything from, like, if you go to their Twitter account, stock their Twitter, you'll actually find that they'll give away packages and codes and stuff like that. You can get gems that way. Uh, you know, like, even right now, Summer Faction War is a big thing going on right now. So if I go into Summer Faction War and I just go into Soda Pass, for example, I mean, there's items and loot to be had in here. And it's it's pretty critical that you do come by once in a while to just check on these things because the news tab is going to give you free stuff and freebies. Now, again, another lesser known place that you can actually get gems and stuff like that is actually Creator Turf. Now, if you don't know what Creator Turf is, it's basically, you know, if you are affiliated with Lords Mobile and you upload content on TikTok and YouTube or God knows what other social media platform you decide to get on. They've actually got an official platform that if you get a lot of views and you get a lot of eyeballs, then they'll turn around and they'll give you stuff like gems and a lot of other things on top of that. So that's just another way to go about it. Um, you know, as far as if you're trying to actually get to where you can get 10,000 gems a week, like it's not uncommon for some of the biggest creators for Lords Mulder right now to get a fairly reasonable amount of gems. I mean, we're talking hundred dollar monthly packs, even, and it's it's not uncommon. So it's it's an, it's a total pathway that is there for you if you would like to do it. Now, I would say beyond that, if you're not into Creator Turf, you've done everything I've suggested so far. You've done gems, you've gone around and nabbed leaders, and you've gotten stuff that way, and you're still struggling to get ten thousand gems or so a week and returns. I mean, really beyond that. Obviously, the end all for everybody has always been money, right? If you have the money, you'll have the gems. Therefore, you can do whatever you so please. And obviously, you know, you, you can spend to your heart's content in this game. But what I will say is that compared to spending like in the iOS or the Google Play stores, you will find that there are better deals out there if you go outside of the purview of the 30% rate and revenue like right now the diamond store is a big thing and so if you're not familiar with this and wonder what is the diamond store that everybody is referring to what they're talking about is actually the diamond store itself and you can get to this any number of ways like you you can get here just by going into you know so like for example you can go and get lord's mobile on you know well, you can even get it on the Epic Game Store now, but you can get it on Steam. You can play it on an emulator like BlueStacks, Nox, or Wemo if you want to. Um, but, you know, there's there's platforms like right now, a lot of people probably heard of Huawei App Gallery, but there's also Aptoid, and I personally use Aptoid, but that's only because, well, part of the reason why is because the it, it's it's crypto-based, and it's also running off of Ethereum. And its app coins are kind of their currency that is based on the Ethereum blockchain. Um, the main thing that matters, though, with a lot of these different payment processors and third-party app stores, basically, is that you do want to be kind of careful with who you work with because the support for them can be dodgy at best. <laughs> and I'm not going to say all of them are collectively easy to work with because, honestly, I've heard everything from... Amazon being terrible to, I mean, it's just, you could throw that name out there, it'll be good for some and then bad for others. And so that experience is really going to be really dependent on where you are. But beyond that, though, if you've already gone out of your way and you've saved gems, then you should be able to, any luck. 
And that's really about all you need to know about these five habits that will more than likely yield you more than 10,000 gyms a week.